Hi everyone, Tao here. I am back with another one. Samsung just dropped another update for Good Luck 2018 and its collection of customization apps. This update also came with a brand new app called Multistar, which offers an enhanced multi-window experience. I've been a huge fan of Good Luck ever since its initial release, and you know I had to drop a video to share the update with you all. Let's get right into what's new. Starting with Multistar. Strangely enough, it only shows up on my Note 9 and not on the S9 or S9 Plus. After updating Good Luck via the Galaxy App Store, it just appeared inside the Good Luck app. It comes with three main features. Use multi-window without pausing, ghost mode, and floating notification. The use multi-window without pausing allows you to keep both apps active during multitasking scenarios. The example they use is that you can now play a game in split screen window with another app and both windows will stay active, regardless of whichever one you are interacting with. Without Multistar, if I'm multitasking with a game and say Reddit, if I try to interact with Reddit, my game will automatically pause. With Multistar, interacting with Reddit doesn't automatically pause the game anymore. It keeps running. There's a setting in Multistar that now enables multi-window for all apps. It does state that some apps may not work properly, so keep that in mind. Apps that don't normally run in multi-window like Instagram worked great during my brief testing. Ghost mode lets you control the transparency of apps when in pop-up window mode. This allows you to see what is under the window. There are five transparency values, 20, 40, 60, 80, or 100% and you can scroll through the different transparencies by hitting this new icon here. Floating notification gives you another option to customize how you want your notification to come in. Once enabled, you can receive notifications in the form of a pop-up icon. Clicking on the notification icon launches the app and dismisses the notification. You also have the option to select which apps you want to use floating notification with. Which is good because it'll probably be overwhelming to have tons of pop-up icons all over your screen. Moving on, Clockface had two new styles added. This mustache with glasses one and this circular one with the hours being represented by lines, which I believe they are calling the donut clock. One Hand Operation Plus received some nice tweaks as well. There is now an arrow animation that appears when a gesture is registered. You can turn it off if you're not a fan of it. I personally like it and it should help reduce the number of gesture mistakes. They added an option which now allows Note device users to turn on or off whether they want the S Pen to activate the navigation gestures. A new forward function is now mappable to one of the gestures. It will only activate when using an internet browser. It works great in Samsung internet. I haven't personally tested with other browsers, but I believe it should work. Heads up, I found that the recent app function is not working with this new update. I'm sure it will be resolved quickly though. Routines was updated to fix a few bugs. Its biggest addition is a Lockstar plugin, which now allows you to automatically change the lock screen style in a routine. For example, you can set it to automatically switch to a Lockstar style whenever you're connected to your work Wi-Fi. When not connected to work Wi-Fi, the default lock screen would be active. Task Changer received primarily DeX bug fixes. It fixes an issue where the close all button is hidden in DeX mode. It also now allows the mouse scroll wheel to scroll through the app cards. And now in Lockstar, now has the ability to select styles from the Clock Faces app directly from within Lockstar. There you have it, a quick rundown of the latest update to Good Lock 2018. Props to Samsung for the consistent updates and it's great to see that they're listening to the feedback that is being left by users. What are your thoughts on the update and added features? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Until the next one, peace.